Hey lifers, Dustin here. This is College Football Lifer, where we talk about the past, present, and future of college football. And today is another sad day as we have yet another head coach firing at the FBS level. This time it is Dino Babers, head coach at Syracuse. Not really a surprise. Uh, Kind of surprised actually that he has managed to stay at Syracuse for as long as he has. It never felt like really he could get there with the program. I'll show some some stats about that here in a minute. Uh, Certainly some positive things happened while he was there, but this never really felt like something that that could produce long-term success. Uh, So here is Dino Babers' kind of tenure at Syracuse. He took over after Scott Schaefer was fired, uh, beginning with the 2016 season. His best season in Syracuse was 2018. The Orange went 10-3, and including 6-2 and in the ACC with a win over number 16 West Virginia in the Camping World Bowl. Uh, that would be Syracuse's only bowl win under Dino. And they would finish the season ranked 15th in both polls. That is their only top 25 ranking under Babers. He was also the ACC Coach of the Year by the AP. Uh, I would also say probably the actual highlight, if you had to point to a single game, was their upset of then number two Clemson in 2017. The Tigers would go on to win the ACC championship and represent the conference in the college ball playoff. That was a huge win in only his second year. It felt like maybe things we're turning around. He had that year, then the 2018 season that's listed there, and then just never really could get that back. Uh, he finishes with a 41 and 55 overall record, including 20 and 45 in ACC play. Uh, only one winning ACC record and only two overall winning records in the season, that being the 10 and 3 season in 2018 and 7 and 6 last year. He finishes 1 and 1 in bowls and 5 and 19 versus top 25 teams. Not ideal. The tight end coach will be the interim head coach next week as Syracuse tries to become bowl eligible. This is a Syracuse team that, you know, could unite and rally heading into this final week or without the coach that recruited all of them to campus could fall apart. So that could be an interesting storyline to watch as we head into the final weekend for Syracuse and the ACC as we try to get more teams bowl eligible for that conference. Now the next question turns to who is next up for Syracuse. So unfortunately for fans of the Orange, Syracuse job is not the highest ranked or viewed job in the country. You know, it's probably in the third or maybe fourth tier, to be honest with you, behind a bunch of other programs. I I think it's more of like a stepping stone job, right? This is a job for a really good a proven group of five head coach who wants to make the jump up into the power five and see if he can make an immediate impact to kind of get to the job he really wants to get to. Uh, Maybe a high profile coordinator. I looked through a couple of articles to see kind of if there was any heat signals, I guess, on which coaches might be interested or good fits. And I'm, I made a little list of some of the names that I saw. I don't know what this means, but just kind of to give you an idea of the kind of names floating around for the idea of the program right now. Uh, I've seen Dan Mullen, of course, former Miss State and Florida head coach. Colorado offensive coordinator Sean Lewis. Doug Marone, who was actually 25-25 and 25 at Syracuse from 2009 to 2012 before taking the Jacksonville Jaguars job. Felt like he, he was kind of starting to build something at Syracuse when he left. Uh, James Madison's Kurt Signetti, Liberty's Jamie Chadwell, uh, Nebraska defensive coordinator Tony White, and Tulane's head coach Willie Fritz. So those are kind of the names I'm seeing. I don't know if they're connected with the job. It's probably too strong, but but kind of being floated around as possible candidates, uh, maybe to Syracuse reaching out to see if there's any mutual interest there. So Dino Babers' seven-year tenure uh, with I said that weird seven-year tenure with Syracuse has officially come to an end. Uh, Let me know your thoughts down below on Dino Babers as well as the future of the Syracuse football program and if you're a Syracuse fan, who you want to be the next head coach. So let me know that down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Click the circle in order to subscribe or check out any other videos over there to the right that YouTube has suggested for you. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, until next time.